So that 5% of Israelis are against what's happening. Very brave 5% because they have been vilified, attacked, people are losing their jobs, they've been kicked out of university for speaking out against what the, their government is doing on their behalf. There have been demonstrations in Israel by the left, by Arabs and Jews together, have not been in the mainstream press. You've not seen any of this, but it has happened. At the same time, people like the deputy, Netanyahu's deputy said that he'd want to have the whole of Gaza taken over by Israel, kick out all the Palestinians, and those who don't leave should be put in a concentration camp. And they use the word concentration camp. They also said, there were lecturers who said, in this case, it is possible, it is permissible to have genocide. And others have said the way to stop what's happening is to rape the women in Palestine. And the, far, the move to the far right in Israel is terrifying. And not just in Israel. I'm from South Africa, and we've had the same problem there. We have a Jewish school, a very good academic Jewish school. Three boys were part of a debating society, and they went to Malaysia. And the three boys wore Palestinian scarves in solidarity and made a speech about human rights. One of the boys was a deputy of the school. He lost his, uh, they're going to kick him out. They're going to kick all of them out for putting um, the state of Israel into disrespect. It's gone that way. I, as, in, as a South African, um, again, it's not been shown so much in the media here. Hundreds up, 200,000 people have gone out on demonstrations in Cape Town against Israeli apartheid. Israel have distanced themselves. They're trying to say we're not like that, but they are. South Africa says so. We are seeing this wave of a far right and peculiar, peculiar uh, uh, relationships. In England, the EDL, the racist EDL, are working with the Zionists and are accepted by the Zionists in their demonstrations in support of, um, uh, for example, in Manchester. People know about Manchester has a big Zionist and Jewish community. Been big demonstrations there every week, particularly against a shop that's selling goods from the uh, from the Black Sea. Kadim Cosmetics. Kadim Cosmetics. And um, the police and the council have said they're going to stop these demonstrations because it's bad for business. They've become extremely violent and they've arrested a lot of people. And um, they are now not going to allow more than 10 people to demonstrate and not on the main street, somewhere far away. Um, and that's an effect on all of us. That's about our rights to, to protest. <laughs> Every time these things happen, our rights have been taken away, and we need to remember that. Um, sorry, the next, next speaker is Zilu Rahman.